whole world, the whole country is running around buying gifts, and I would like to give you some tips on the ultimate gift to buy. You know, everybody wants to give that special gift. You know, you buy that gift, you put a lot of effort into it, you spend a lot of money, and you bring that gift home, and you give it to that special person, that loved person, and you want that person to open up that gift, and as he unwraps it, and opens that, bill, that box, and he pulls it out, and it's just like, wow! How did you know? How did you know? I, I didn't even know that this is what I wanted. This is the most, oh, this is such a great gift. I love this. This is the perfect gift. How does one find the perfect gift? So there are lists, and there is, we are, we've been bombarded with advertisements, the top 10 gifts, this is the most wonderful gift for, for a man, this is the most wonderful gift for a child, this is the most wonderful gift for a teenager. How does one find that ultimate gift? Now I understand that this, this, um, my tips here are a little bit late because you've all gone out and bought your Hanukkah gifts for everyone. But maybe next year. This will help you maybe next year. And the truth is maybe this is gift purchasing advice that can be used even before next Hanukkah. If we had the opportunity to go to a tremendous tzaddik whose brachas are niskayim right away, his brachas, as soon as he gives us the bracha, we get what the tzaddik is. If we had the opportunity, the chance, to go to the Chofetz Chaim, the Chofetz Chaim gives a bracha, give out! Unbelievable what the bracha of the Chofetz Chaim could do. And the Chofetz Chaim, we could go to the Chofetz Chaim and tell him, this is what I want. And the Chofetz Chaim would promise us that whatever you want is what you get. It would be give out it. Think! If we could go to Yaakov Avinu, Yaakov Avinu, from the Bechira Avos, if Yaakov Avinu would give us whatever we want, we go to Yaakov and tell him, this is what I want, and Yaakov Avinu says, no problem, whatever you want, I'll give you. Yaakov Avinu had the mafteach of brachas, he had the key to brachas. When he went before Paro and he blessed Paro, he gave him a bracha. The, the Nile, the Nilus, the river, whatever he, Paro would come and stand before the, the Nile River, the river would come up to his feet. Such a kayach brocha. Anything that we want, we could get from Yaakov Avinu. But what if we had a greater opportunity than that? You know, I don't even know. I don't even know what's best for me. I don't even know what I really want. I'm going to go to Yaakov Avinu, and I'm going to let Yaakov Avinu pick for me. With his Ruach HaKodesh, with his unlimited knowledge, what is the ultimate gift that I really, really want? And Lamai said this week's Parsha, that's what happens. In Parshas Vayichi, Yaakov Avinu, right before he's about to pass on to the next world, to go to Oil of Ha'emes, Yaakov Avinu calls in all of his sons. And Yaakov Avinu, with the Mafteach of Brachas, he can give them anything and everything. And Yaakov Avinu gives his son Gebaldi Gebrachas. Unbelievable! You stop and you look. What are the Brachas he Yaakov gives his children? It's mine, Baka. The first brachas that he gives to Reuben, to Shimon and Levi, they, they seem like they're derogatory. to him. He's not, it doesn't seem like he's, he, he's giving them a bracha. He's not matching them. It seems, it seems like he's pointing out their weaknesses, their misgivings. What kind of bracha is that? This is the last time that Yaakov Avinu is going to be able to give to his children, to give to the Shvatim, to give over the most precious things to him. And he gives him a bracha, and he's the kayak of involving the bracha. And what does he do? He tells him, this is something that needs to be corrected. This wasn't so good. A pillar, the Orachai Makodesh, on the Pasuk, the Orachai Makodesh says, even though we see, it seems to us from the Tzukim, that Yaakov Avinu didn't bless them. He didn't bless Reuven. He didn't bless Shimon. He didn't bless Levi. Yadid HaKosu. The Apostle tells us, Ki Diburo the harsh things that he said to Reuven, to Shimon, and to Levi, He Kosu. That is their blessing. That was the greatest brachmet Yaakov Avinu could give to his children. 
There is no greater gift that a person can give to someone than the ability for that person to understand who he really is, to understand his potential, to understand his strength. If a person can give to his fellow man, can look at his child, to his son, and he can help him to understand who he really is, what is what the kaifas are that he has, the tremendous potential that he has, what he can accomplish in life with the gifts that a Baruch has given him. And he points out to him and he tells him there's certain things that you're going to have to work on. There are certain things that are going to be a lot of work. There are certain weaknesses maybe that a person has. There are certain misgivings that a person has. But Yaakov Avinu tells his children, you should know you're the chief they call. You have unbelievable potential with your strengths and with your weaknesses. And he gives them the key to who they really are. Rabbi said there's no greater bracha, there's no greater gift that a person can give to someone. If a person truly loves someone, if a person truly believes in someone, so then that person will help that person to develop his koichas hanefesh, his personal strength. And when the person receives that gift, and that is the gift of all gifts, that is a gift that keeps on giving because that person grows from it and he becomes a better person and a better person. And he accomplishes things that he would have never believed possible when he is honest with himself. And he really looks at himself in the mirror and he sees who he really is. And he sees the all the And he realizes that a Kodesh Baruch Hu gives a person chesreinus and a person gives a person nisyayinus, a person gives a Kodesh Baruch Hu gives us challenges to overcome, challenges that make us stronger. That Rabbi Sa'ad is the greatest gift that a person can give. And that is a gift that we don't have to wait for Hanukkah to give. We don't have to wait for next Hanukkah. It's a gift that every single parent can give to his child. And he can give it to his child every single day. If the parent looks into that child's nisham, looks into that child's heart, and he digs deep, and he sees the beauty and the kaychus, and everything that, the tremendous potential that that child has, and he helps that child to realize what he has, and he also helps that child to understand the chesreinus that he might have, the weaknesses that he might have. And he builds up in that child the belief that I have tremendous violence, and I have chesreinus that I have to work with. That is the greatest gift, a person, a gift that a person can give to his child. That's the greatest gift that a husband can give to his wife. It's the greatest gift that a wife can give to a husband. It's the greatest gift that a person can give to his dear friend. Rabbi Yerucham Alevi says in Gemal de Gazak, he used to say, Ogum, it's sad. It's a sad thing if a person does not recognize his own misgivings, his own weaknesses. But it's much sadder. If a person doesn't recognize his own strengths and his own abilities. Yaakov Avinu was able to give to his children anything in the world. And Yaakov Avinu chose to sit with each one of his sons to work with them. To show them the Gvaldi Kukhaifas that they have. To show them also the Chesreinus that they have. Where they have to work. And he believed in them. And he gave them the tools, which is the greatest gift that we can give. The tools to grow, to become Anoshim Gedoyim and Anoshim Gedoshim. Mitz Hashem. We shouldn't give in to all of the advertising about this gift and that gift. And we should dig deep into our hearts. And we should give to all of those that we love. A gift that you can't buy with a credit card, you can't buy it with money. It's a gift that takes tremendous investment in order to give. But it's a gift that when we do give it, it will be an eternal gift. It will be a gift that will keep on giving not only to the receiver, but also to the person who gave the gift. Good job.